Success Insight shares the stories of the people with passion and drive who make things happen in the world. Here's your host, Howard Fox. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday with Andre Martin on the Success Insight podcast. Andre is our leadership mindset and golf performance coach. She is an LPGA Class A life member, a nationally recognized top 50 golf teacher and expert, a member of the Maine Golf Hall of Fame, and a neuro-linguistic programming master certified coach, recognizing golf's value as a business tool in today's competitive marketplace. Andre works with individuals, groups, corporate or organizational clients to create educational and team building programs that enhance the professional success of aspiring executives. Now, Andre was on our last episode, which right now, folks, we are in March. So this is episode two in March. And we kicked off uh, a two-part series on the essential keys to overcome overwhelm. And now we get the gold from Andre. So Andre, welcome back to Mindset Monday with Andre Martin on the Success Insight podcast. Thanks, Howard. Always a pleasure. And folks, I know there are a lot of people out there that are dealing with overwhelm. And so this topic and these tools will hopefully help you get through the day. And I'm very excited to sh continue to share the remaining half. Last episode, I covered the definition of overwhelm. We addressed the fact that it's different from stress in that it has a lot of emotional content to it. And so it really gets people stuck and frozen. COVID has changed our world forever from business to family and all the different areas of our lives. And so I've broken down overwhelm into the following pieces. And I'm going to review that first half was observe and state out loud that you're in overwhelm. Validate yourself for that awareness. Express what do you really want? Rate and track your improvement and progress. And then today, what we're going to cover is your winning attitude. I always love to start with the winning attitude. Help and be willing to ask for help. Evaluate, escalate, and repeat. List what has shifted. Manage with confidence. So let's start with that winning attitude that everybody needs. Even when we don't have it, how do you get it back? It's everything to keep going in the right direction to go for the gold, folks. And we've all had those days. And the ones who win are the ones that can shift it and pivot quickly. Right, Howard? This is so true. And we kind of have to remind ourselves in the moment when we stop and we stop start to question what's going on. It's like, I don't need to worry about this and I'm better at whatever it is I want to achieve. And I don't need to wallow in whatever my misery or upset is, is taking hold of me. And, and be willing to ask for help. This is why we're recording these mindset Mondays is to give folks strategies and keys. That's why we love what we do as coaches in the business. Mind shifting can be everything. And I, I even like to pull in one of the episodes from last year. I mentioned the breathing techniques. That actually can shift you into a winning attitude just by breathing in for four seconds, holding for four seconds, exhaling for four seconds. And in that, okay, I get it. I don't like it. It's an immediate calming effect so that then you can Realize you need help. Be willing to ask for help. Faith in receiving the coaching. Work with your team. Teams help work the plan. And then you work your plan of responsibility that you have. Many minds make for success. Like us, Howard, we can't, nobody can do it alone and nobody gets there alone. True. And so that also can help that winning attitude. It, it, it I, I'm still thinking about my, 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 my guy, Tom Brady. 
And in his retirement that everybody announced, he, his players even said he'd go to bat for them, even with the coaches. And then the coaches would listen to him. And when he spoke, everybody listened, the coaches and the players. But the other thing I really liked about him is that he was willing to be coached. And that really is a sign of a winning attitude. So, and he always asked for help when he needed it and worked, worked hard at it. And that takes us to the next step, which is evaluate, escalate, repeat. And that's why I used that example of Tom Brady, because he always was constantly evaluating. How are we doing? How do we do it better? And keep doing it over and over and over again. He was a master at it. So go back to your benchmarks. What needs amping up and escalating? What successes have you achieved so far? What needs more help and support? Go for the gold. Believe in yourself. Know when to take a break. Many of us don't. And I can, I can honestly state here in this episode, I learned that the hard way. I would go, 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 go. And then my body crashed on me and I had to take a break right. because I wasn't listening. And so it's all about learning to listen to your mastery and how you make it happen mm-hmm. and, and prepare for that success to come forward. And so the next step is listing what has shifted and pivoted. Don't just evaluate, list, which means write down the success that was achieved. That added step really sets into your being, your whole being. And from a corporate perspective, it, it's adhering to that vision and holding that vision forward. Teams all have a vision, whether it's athletics or business and Validate yourself, even if it's a small win. And if there's none, this is where you get to pivot in the direction that's going to bring it, get you back on course. It's like going into the hazard or knocking yourself out of bounds. Fine. It's done. Is there anything else you can do about it? No, it's done. It's all about, okay, got that winning attitude, validate, keep moving forward. You know, I, I, I love the fact with the listing and the shifting and the pivoting is we can also not just list it out on paper or in our head, but understand the impact that it had because we shifted and pivoted. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and a lot of times we lose sight of that and we really need to give ourselves more credit for that. And that leads us to the the final letter of manage with confidence. So you've pivoted, you've real, you've you've gotten your winning attitude back. You've been helping and willing to ha- ask for help. You've evaluated and escalated. You're repeating with your lists, so that now you can manage with confidence because you're following these benchmarks the plan and you're believing that you can you're trusting your coaching and your support system stay focused and vigilant and when you do that you gain the greatness everyone deserves we all deserve that and with that you can go for the gold and not settle for silver i love it i love it and i'm thinking as we're going through the the dissection of overwhelm, what it means and how we can use it to, you know, overcome what's happening in our lives and and make things better. And this definitely has the makings for a great workshop or webinar. It's all about the right choices and know that if it's a choice that didn't work, you can make another one. Yep. And that gives you a whole fresh perspective. And that's what makes you a gold medal, medal winner. That's very true. I mean, I love, that's part of the great conversations we have in coaching and when maybe the timing wasn't right or 
things didn't go exactly as you planned. So what did you learn and what can you do differently? And Absolutely. let's start planning that out. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thanks, Howard. Thank you. Before I let you go, Andre, just again, for our listeners, and if they would like to learn more about you and your work, where are the best places for them to go? Certainly, Howard. Folks, love to hear from you. I am at andregolf.com. That's Andre with two E's, golf.com. I'm also available through LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all those channels. Fantastic. Well, we will provide all the backlinks uh, to your website and social sites so our listeners can learn more about you and uh, your work. So again, Andre, I appreciate you taking the time to join me on Mindset Monday. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Okay, folks, we've just completed our March episodes with Andre and the Mindset Monday series. Uh, and we had two wonderful episodes really dissecting the word overwhelm. Uh, episode uh, title was The Essential Keys to Overcome Overwhelm. And we hope that you obtain some insights and really, uh, you know, some, some tools, actionable items that you can begin to introduce into your life. It's your choice. And how can you use this information to kind of help you on the golf course, in, in business, somewhere else out on the field, whatever, it's your choice, whatever the issues that you are currently working through. And in this day and age, we are still faced with a lot of overwhelm and all the things that we can do to at least to alleviate it. It's never going to go away and we have to be diligent and uh, observant of not only how we're feeling, how, how our community that we're interacting with is also being affected by how we show up as well, because if we're overwhelmed, people around us are going to be overwhelmed as well. So uh, do let us know what you think about today's episode. You can find us on successinsightpodcast.com or on Facebook and LinkedIn on Success Insight Podcast. We are also on the major podcasting platforms, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Audible, and a whole host of other podcast directories. Okay, folks, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, go out there, have a phenomenal day. And we will see you for more episodes of Mindset Monday with Andre Martin on the Success Insight Podcast. Take care now. Success Insight is a production of Fox Coaching and First Story Strategies. Find us online, successinsightpodcast.com.